Frankenmuth Fish Passage Project essentially involves replacing the existing dam with a rock ramp structure consisting of a series of rock weirs to allow passage of fish species such as walleye and lake sturgeon upstream. Fourteen separate weirs and adjacent resting pools have been constructed over a span of approximately 350 feet to provide about a 3% grade for these non-jumping targeted species. This will ultimately allow access to many miles of historical spawning habitat on the Cass River and its tributaries that have not been accessible for over 150 years since the dam was originally constructed. Upon request from the City of Frankenmuth, the Corps of Engineers initially became involved in the project in 2005. After several years of detailed study and environmental coordination, the Corps awarded a construction contract in 2014 and work was essentially completed in October 2015. The overall cost of the project is just under $4 million, including all the planning, design, construction, and post-construction monitoring required. In accordance with the Great Lakes Fishery and Ecosystem Restoration, or GLIFR, authority, under which the project was pursued, the City of Frankenmuth provided 35% of the total cost of the project, or about $1.3 million. All ecosystem restoration projects have their own unique characteristics. There are very few rock ramp fish passage projects in Michigan, as this design does not lend itself to all applications where a dam or other obstacle to fish passage exists. This is a relatively rare application of a fish passage project and happens to be in the heart of downtown Frankenmuth, which is consistently one of the top tourism destinations in the state of Michigan. This project could not have been accomplished without the strong and continued commitment from the city of Frankenmuth and many local businesses and citizens. In addition to providing the non-federal funding component of the project, their desire and ability to see the project through to completion was amazing. This truly was a case study of federal and local partnership as we worked together to accomplish a mutual goal. I can't say enough about the diligence, competence, creativity, and professionalism that the city and all the local stakeholders provided every step of the way throughout this project process. The Corps of Engineers is involved in many different types of projects under several different authorities throughout the nation. Here in the Great Lakes, the Corps can also be involved in a variety of initiatives under our regional Great Lakes Fishery and Ecosystem Restoration, or GLIFR, authority. And the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, or GLRI, has been instrumental in providing funding for priority projects. If a community has a need for a project like this, or if they have other ecosystem restoration goals, they can contact the Corps at any time, and we will check to see if there is potential federal interest in moving forward with a study effort.